biggest has a big by the amazing Sir Femi Kuti. All right, welcome to the Morning Rush on the Beat at 99.9 FM at 35 minutes past 10. It's Friday, woo! -hoo! Yes, sir. You're hanging out with Maria and Elisa, the only place to be this early morning. All right, so it's Friday, it's time for MTM Fresh, which happens every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Brand spanking new Nigerian songs, entertainment news, everything that's fresh. And once in a while, we have celebrity interviews. Sometimes we have super, super, superstars in the building. Sometimes we have multiple Grammy nominee interviews. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not often. Not often. But once in a while. Sometimes we're blessed. There's a nominee in Nigeria with no Grammy nomination. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, we have to narrow it down. And what? first, everyone, you can catch this mm -hmm. on Alisa Edibois Live mm -hmm. at official Alisa Edibois yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you check it out. The checks in the post. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. well, 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 All right. Thanks for the promo. <laughs> <laughs> we want to welcome. The super amazing, mm -hmm. legendary Sir Femi Kuti! Four times Grammy nominee. Thank you. Good morning, good morning. And uh, hopefully, fifth time by the time this album gets up. Most likely, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> ten albums. I didn't know you had ten albums. Yes, this ten. Number ten. Wow. Ten. People think it's seven, but it's ten now. Wow. 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 Well, 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 that's for that. That's a big round of applause. Well done for that. Was this uh, like a labor of love? Did it take? Was it hard? It's always difficult because um, when you don't want to be monotonous or stagnant, mm -hmm. and you want to always find new melodies, new things to say, then it's um, that's be that's difficult to do, and to create new, to create a new wave with the music, that's very hard, especially. After Shoki Shoki, especially when you have a very big album, mm -hmm. and then to people who expect you to do better than mm -hmm. the other album, so there's a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah, always and, difficult. And there must also be a lot of pressure to, when I say reinvent, I mean reinvent not in the sense of completely changing who you are and your style, but I mean after like album number ten, how do you keep it fresh? Uh, by by being myself, really. I I, I get very bored as well. Probably, they say Gemini's are always, we get very bored. So probably it's good that I'm Gemini. Okay. And I get very bored. And I need to always find something new to keep my mind busy. Okay. So, and I still do six hours of practice every day. Six hours a day, really? minimum, wow. Wow. every day. That's amazing. That's minimum. Amazing. So what's the maximum that you do? Maximum is 12, 11, it depends really. Okay. Wow. I can't do anything for six hours in one day. You sleep for six sleep. hours. I sleep. Mean, I don't do anything for six hours in one it's day. It's very, and I started to teach my, because I played the sax for for so long, it started to get really boring. Mm -hmm. I mean, I tore the sax to shreds. I, I did all the things I thought were impossible, I made possible with the saxophone. And I needed a new challenge, so I picked up the piano, oh. and then I picked up the trumpet. I wanted the trumpet to make me more angry. Mm -hmm. okay. And the trumpet really changed me as a being. It completely gave me the reverse of what I wanted. Okay. And this, I think, probably that was one of the most important decisions I did in my life because I really wanted to go in this direction. So I said to teach myself the trumpet and it completely turned me around, completely. Mm -hmm. It, I think it made me a nicer person. I, I am more, all the things I did not want to be or think I could be, yeah. the trumpet did. And uh, most importantly, I found a new style, found new way of addressing my music. Okay. So I think in 2000, this was the best decision I made in my career. And it's so vast where I find my mind musically that. Sometimes it's scary because yeah. so much I can, I think I can do, I don't know if I have enough time to do it because I'm now going 56 and I'm like, wow, will I have enough time and how do I put all these things? Because it's time. It's really time, you mean in terms of time left on the earth? Yes. Oh, wow. So, so, so you're, you're still young, young. young. Yeah. what are you saying? Come on, come on, come on. No, but <laughs> I'm getting old, so yeah. I don't, will the energy still be there? Okay, the so, are you worried about uh, young guys coming through? Uh, a lot of uh, young guys are not really, I mean, that six hours a day will scare people away. 
you know, people will be like, they spend their time at the club. You know, <laughs> six hours up in the club, you know, shayo, shayo, and all that. Mm. But I mean, you're very disciplined. Um, when we look at you now, you, you showed up early for the interview. We know a lot of. Are you uh, throwing shade at somebody? We know, we know a, lot of, oh, a, a, a lot of young artists who, you know, they they have they haven't been nominated for you know <laughs> for a local award, and then they. they, they well, Lisa, that's they, it. You're so wrong. They, they, no, but you are so you gotta wrong. tell the truth now. You know, you tell the truth. I they wouldn't show up on time for the interview, but I mean. I, mean, I know you, Two Face, for example, are yes. the two people who are absolutely special. I mean, you're very disciplined, professional. So, are you worried about, you know, like, after you, there's not much left? Maybe, you know, Michelle as well. Uh, the, the, the landscape for Afrobeat is very, very scanty. No, I'm not scared. My son is coming up. Oh, okay, Maria. Yeah. Yeah. I've got um, six children who are all playing music. Oh, wow, so okay. I'm not. So you have your own music school, that's why you basically have your own music uh, so I school. I already have a basketball team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared. I think everybody learns in the business. I, I learned to be disciplined. I, I didn't just turn up to be where I am overnight. Okay. I didn't... Um, my mother's mother, my grandmother on my mother's side, she changed me because I came from a very arrogant background from my father. Mm -hmm. Being Fela son, his, his fan base was, ah, you are the king's son, you are, mm -hmm. nobody, you are unbeatable, you are mm -hmm. this. So, I mean, I was reeking of pompousness and arrogance. I mean, I was a terrible human being. <laughs> and, um, How were you terrible? What were some of the things you were doing? Just, I mean, I will give it, my, one of my cousins, Dotu, you will know him, Dotu. Yeah, yeah, Dotu very well. Yeah. Day, came, you, came to see me and was like, he thought we were in our childhood days. By this time I was playing in my father's band and yeah. I was high guy. and I was look. He thought I was looking down on him, but I was just high, you know, <laughs> stone, <man. laughs> completely. And I was like, man, live my life alone. And, you know, just very yeah. negative attitude. Yeah. And then I, my father was jailed and I had to move back to my mother's house. And I, my grandmother, just walks into the room and says, what, what kind of musician are you? You have been here for two weeks, you have not picked up your horn once. Uh, she said so many, I can't say them on radio, okay. nasty words that. <laughs> I was shocked. That's that, a tough that, How dare you talk to me like this? Femi you know, but it was my grandmother, you know. And she just brought me down to earth. Uh, that night I cried, because all what she said was so true. And that was that was my saving grace, I think. And so on she that day, around, yeah. she just and I now vowed to start practicing because I never practice my own. When I picked up my own, I would squeak. But people never told me the truth. They just said, "Oh, great solo, great solo." Okay. Mm. And what she did was, I think, uh, forever. I always have to always tell the story to always give her thanks because this was really. The start of Femi and Nicola Pokuti. What's her name? Um, she's, uh, we called her Nani, but her name was Sadie Taylor. Okay. okay. Right. She's my mother's mother. So you say um, your six children are into music. Um, do they have a choice, sir? Is it that you are pushing them or they want to? My be? children? Yes. No, I don't think. I think everybody would love to play musical instruments. So you all grow up, people grow up and just yeah. wish. Even if they did not, if they don't become professional musicians, they wish they could play a musical instrument. So I think it's very important for everybody to have an idea. It's like you have a. It's like not knowing how to use a first aid. We are not doctors, but right. you need a first aid box in your home. Yeah. You must know how to put iodine or plaster or know when to take codeine for a headache. So we are not doctors, but so the, the, instrument is the there. basic thing. So same with music. So I think it would be wrong for me as a father not to let them understand because they admire me and all this. Whether they become mm -hmm. professional musicians, that's yeah. a different case. I will not superimpose myself on them. Okay. This has to be because it's a very, it's a, one should never do what you are not totally in love with. Because when if things go, obstacles come. I mean, they have, have been down many times or you just have no idea and you are very in a very depressive state and you can't hold anybody to ransom for um, for 
things not happening well in your life. So it has to be your decision to go in this direction. So if things don't really go as planned, you have to find your way and it, it's, it's your it's your call. It's your, I don't know how to explain it, but it's your, you have to decide it on your own. Yeah. And if you love it, you weather the, st the storm and the good, you take the good, you, you take the bad, you take everything and mm. you feel great with yourself at the end of the day. There's one of your sons I know, he's, uh, he's a very rascally fellow. You know the one, I think I was, one, sometime last year when I was in your place, he was, uh, he, he, you gave him some money to go buy some stuff for the rest, rest of the other kids. Oh, I omitted. Yeah, I he, he just, he asked for a last character. Yes, for that, yeah, that's what I say, he's a bit like fella. He just told everybody, look, look, this money's for me, forget it. Yeah, yeah, uh, very, very troublesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got Femi <laughs> Kuti in the building, multiple Grammy nominee right here. And we've got a brand new album. If you have any questions, hit us up on social media. And we're going to play some of the track. We just played one before. What's the theme? Is there is there a theme running through this album? I think the album is more optimistic. This is a, this is a very this change has to do with my children. I think being a father and having so much love around me, I've always have I've had to find answers and solutions for my children. So have you, I've used this to redirect my life again in this, this way and giving young people like the track Africa would be great again. Mm -hmm. So I, we know if we look critically at Africa, right. people don't see hope, but we do have to find hope. So these songs are like, there are many songs, even where I'm very critical, I'm trying to give kind, I'm not um, pessimistic. Right. I try to be optimistic, and even over the years, my music has been optimistic. Yeah. It's just the words have been very hard, mm -hmm. or very critical of government or whatever. So this time around, I've, and and I see this is where my future is heading to. And probably this has to do with experience and age, of course, is turning around, turning around, and giving young people hope and energy. You have hope for 2019. Yeah, um, I wanted to. I wanted to interject. I wanted to say that. So, are you actually trying to cheer us up? Are you trying to cheer Africa, up? or do you believe in your heart that it's going to get better anytime soon? Because I just don't share in this optimism. Yes, um, let me put it this way: um, it doesn't. It does look bleak. Extremely. It looks the. It's grave. The problems are grave. Mm -hmm. It's. You could say all these things, but. Should we commit suicide? No. no. So that's the way to look at it. And okay. if you on agree, the bright side, yeah. So if everyone changed their perception mm -hmm. and started to do one little good thing, if we all were walking on the streets, let's take for instance, we all stop throwing things out of our car, paper. Mm -hmm. We are keeping the city clean. But we all see you'd be driving. People just throw things. They, they we all turn the streets ourselves mm -hmm. to the dustbin. If we all. Change. If every radio station does, every commentator mm -hmm. starts saying, look, stop throwing things on the road. Mm -hmm. We help ourselves because the people have to understand that they are government. The government is just an arm of the body. And without the people, there is no government. And when the people understand that they empower the government, then the people start to take responsibility of the government. And then the government starts to understand that they're still, they're just, they're just, they're nothing but, they're like house helps. They are employed by us to do the job. They are not our bosses. So right now we have got it back to front. Mm -hmm. When we understand this and everybody, so being a good parent, this is part of the discipline of society. Many people just, we call, I call them born through it. They just have children because they want to have children. Uh -huh. But to take your child to school, to make sure you, your child does his homework, to make sure your, if it's a male child, don't be nasty to your sister treat your sister well, and when you start to learn to treat your sister well, then you treat other girls um, well. well, and then you go to school, you become a nice boy, you become head boy, and you, you, why are you discipline your child? You see, all it, this will not take a game, it will not happen overnight, but if you don't start now, it will never happen. Mm -hmm. And then you look at it from the historical point of view. Africa has been through hell. We have been through the Trans-Sahara slave trade, mm -hmm. which was from the 7th century to about the 17th century. Transatlantic slave trade, we went on for another 400 years, 100 years of colonial rule, mm -hmm. 60, 70 years of bad African corrupt governments. 
what you think is this going to just happen overnight? That's true. So, two, I don't believe it will happen in my lifetime. But if I don't play my part in ensuring that I give my children, for instance, the best education and give them be a good father, then of if I am a lousy father, what where where how can I be critical of government when I myself am a lousy father? So we all play our part. It will be good. It will take, not in my lifetime. I don't believe. Good. See you. Get I don't that, believe in let my that lifetime optimism, either. That, that your optimism is very but infectious. I like it. Uh, let if Maria we start let, now. Yeah, let it touch start. Maria. Let it touch you. Optimism will no, touch you. No, I mean, if we <laughs> let it touch you. Touch you. Touch you. <laughs> let it touch you. <laughs> I'm just one person. We need, as um, you know, sir, for me, because he said yeah. it, we need a lot of people to start thinking like this. Yeah. Right. I, think, I mean, this and one or two people will hear this yeah. and they will change. Yeah. I need you to. You tomorrow morning say, don't throw things out of your car. Mm -hmm. Keep on repeating it. Let people stop throwing dirt, your cigarette butts out of mm -hmm. the car. I mean, you are drinking a can coke or something. You just fling it out of your window. Mm -hmm. Ah, I mean, we have all done this. You mm -hmm. are chewing gum. I mean, that is one of the worst things. You are chewing gum, you are at the cinema, mm -hmm. you just throw it. Somebody goes steps on it. Yeah. These are, I was in New Zealand. This is one of the cleanest cities in Tokyo. So clean. Everybody participates in cleanliness. Not, I'm not, when I'm talking of cleanliness, I'm not talking of the foolish one we do that at the end of the month, we do sanitation and all that, so we know. We make the city more dirty. No! <laughs> We're going to play music now. We're going to come back with the legend himself. If you have any questions, hit us up right now. Africa will be great again. Brand new album out now on sale. We're going to give you all the details later on. Stick with us now, MTM Fresh. Don't forget now, 5900 is the magical, magical number for Music Plus and also Comedy Plus 2100. Femi Kuti, four-time Grammy nominee, is in the building. I hope we're looking for number five as well. And this time around, we're five or fifth time lucky, should I say. Africa will definitely be great again. Welcome back. No God in the comeback as we've been around for years and so has the gentleman with us. Superstar, legend, king of Afrobeat, four-time Grammy nominee, Femi Kuti is in the building. If you have any questions, hit us up right now. The album is out there. It's out. We promised you. We spoke about it uh, earlier this year and the reality has come. I can't believe we're at the end of February already. Can you believe that? The year has gone quickly, isn't it? The I, year think, has I think it's age doing us. The year hasn't gone yet. year has gone quickly. Yeah, okay. really, yeah. The year has just started. You said it, the year has say, I think Yeah, with February is only over. Say it's our age. When we are older, the, everything seems to be going fast. I mean, I'm wondering what's going on. What happened? There's still what happened 10 January? months left on this. Like 10 months. What is going to be? You see, the younger people. I've not, I'm not, I'm not made money. <laughs> I've not, made, I've not seen any money. <laughs> Don't worry. But money doesn't come at this time. Exactly. Money doesn't come this time. Anyway, it's going too fast. The snake took it all. When you do the snake in monkey shadow. When 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 you when I heard the album was coming out February twenty third, I thought February was that far away, but it's like today. Yes, so it's good. So the album is out there. Music Plus platform is available. Uh, it's there. You can get the entire album. And we played two tracks already. Uh, we're gonna play one more. Um, the album is called One, one World, People, One World, One People, One World. And uh, the video is really out already. The a video of uh, One People is out, um, but hey, we're going to put more money to not their way be that. Okay. That's going to be a very powerful video. All right. Can I be in that one? Because I missed on the other one. What would you be doing? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> exactly. Let, Let me, me know. Help me ask you, what were you, what's your plan? <laughs> what, what's, what's, what's the concept? Is it, what's the storyboard? Can Let you me know. Okay, you could be acting a corrupt politician. Wow, I don't know about that too. <laughs> <laughs> and that will fit you very well. <laughs> I okay, let me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get that. I, I might fit that real well. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Thank yeah, you very okay. easily. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have right. a question here from at Sunday Caleb Twelve. Please help me ask at Femi Equity that if he wasn't doing music, what would you be doing? Music. Oh, he said, if you weren't doing it. <laughs> There's no option. <laughs> no option. <laughs> okay, then. Sorry. All right, sorry. I think you'd be, you'd be, you'd be a good uh, writer. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I, I agree. always knew yeah, from, from I always knew I was going. To, it was just a matter of how, when, and then when I really realized then it, the magnitude of how great my father was before my eyes. That scared me a lot. And but everywhere I went was, when would you be? How are you not going to be? Mm -hmm. The pressure was so much growing up from primary school, and but I really wanted to be. I I loved to want. I I love that feeling of one day I would be a musician. Mm -hmm. It was just how. And then I didn't have the formal training of uh, um, being a musician. I had to teach myself everything. 
So this again was. So all like, the instruments you played, you taught yourself. Right now, okay. I taught myself everything. everything. Wow, that's amazing. The sax. I just bought a saxophone. What happened with the sax was, my father, my mother wanted me to go to England to go to the same kind of university my father went to. He said no. He was very against all this kind of Western education. He didn't even want me to go to school. Mm -hmm. So it was like I scrambled into mm -hmm. and stumbled into school. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got home. If I got home, I said. I failed the subject. My father said, oh, nice. <laughs> I mean, he oh, was a very special oh, father. Wow. I was the only child that never got beaten for repeating a class or failing a subject. Mm -hmm. wow. If I got home and said, hey, I did well in English, so what? <laughs> so that was very disheartening. And so it was better to fail than do well. Uh, so, so my. Funny. School life wow. was incredible. Uh -huh. So I mean, it must be very sweet school life. So my mother wanted me to go to England. <laughs> yeah. Then he says, "Okay, let's compromise. We we'll go to Ghana." So my mother mm -hmm. got upset, and I, I didn't get to go anywhere. Uh -huh. So then what he did was he got his band leader, who was then Babani, mm -hmm. to start teaching me. And so he gave me two weeks lesson, and my mother really got angry, mm -hmm. and now stopped me from going. Okay. So I got a, I bought a saxophone tutor. Then I said to teach myself the saxophone, and this is how I learned. And then he withdrew me from school when General Basanjo then put soldiers in school to flog students. Mm. So my father withdrew me, which was a very, I was very happy because I was already going to fail my Form 3 promotional <laughs> exams. So I went into deep thought. He said, I'm taking out of school in protest of other students. Then I went, I put my head up. Do you want, are you ready to go? I was like serious that, you know, we have exams coming, but I was really happy that, ah, just take me out quickly. <laughs> 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 oh my days. So, I agreed and he took me out of school and, but this was the period I said, I concentrated on learning the sax. In 1979, I joined his band, Royas came into town, mm -hmm. and this was my first recording with him. The title of the album then was Africa Center of the World. Wow. So then, as soon as we left um, Osho, um, Ijebudi, where the studio was, I joined an uh, Egypt 80. I said to be the alto saxophonist, okay. and this I joined my father, said to teach me his songs, and for my there. life start, my career started. Right. Nice one, nice one. Um, any chance of you getting back together with uh, your friend Dele? Do you get, are you in uh, touch with We were still? never married. No, I. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. Okay, so okay, okay. I know you're this funny. Uh, you know, because back then you guys used to play together. Uh, Delia, is it? I still in London, right? Is in London. Yeah. Yes. I, any, I mean, there's never any chance you you guys like jamming together at a concert somewhere. I don't know. To fifty, you have to really plan your life. One must understand that you have lived half a century, and probably you have, hopefully, another half to go. Mm. How do you want to leave that? And most likely not. So I probably have about 20, maximum 30 years to do what I really want to do. What do I want to spend these 30 years doing? I want to give all, most of my energy to my children. I really want to give them everything in my mind, love and all these things. I really, and whilst doing this, I, I still want my fan base to create music and perform. So that's already taken everything out of me. So. I need to focus on these things. Okay. If anything else comes in between and I can make it fit, um, no problem. All right, nice one. Okay, we're going to uh, play the song right now, uh, Best to Live on the Good Side. Maria, you hear that? Best to Live on the Good Side. Yes. And another you, optimistic I, song. I, you, you hear that? Mm -hmm. I did. I am optimistic. I am. Mm -hmm. I mean, after your speech earlier. My lecture. Your lecture. Mm -hmm. I feel a bit better. <laughs> you know what it is? We all know things will get better. It's just. Like what's so scary is that it seems so far away. Yeah, don't think, so I mean, what, do we, what do, would you think Marcus Garvey did or Malcolm X or Martin mm -hmm. Luther King? They knew they were, Malcolm X knew he was going to die, but mm -hmm. he, he gave his life. That's true. He, he spoke the truth. Martin Even Luther King knew he probably die, would too. die. Mm -hmm. Lumumba knew he was going to die. Mm -hmm. Look um, look at Thomas Sankara. Mm -hmm. All great people who put their, they put their lives down for, to, to defend the truth and speak the truth. Mm -hmm. And then you want to enjoy the truth. Uh, no, yeah, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. So I know I'm not. I'm. I'm. Pro I know Nigeria or Africa will not be great in my life. But yeah. if I don't play this music, mm -hmm. if I don't say the things I'm saying, mm -hmm. then what hope do I give the younger people? If Ella did not do all those songs, how do we know that in the 70s, people, young people, will not understand 
if it wasn't for Fela's music, what the 70 the seventies truly look like. So when Fela is singing a song like Suffering and Smiling, mm -hmm. young people can say, when was that album released? 1979. Ah, you mean this country was like this? Um, and this is 2000, they get angry. Yeah. And in their anger, they probably will find solutions and say enough is enough. Look, this country must change, we want, you see, and because of Fela, that's why he's still a great man because he sacrificed his time, his music, fighting for the oppressed. So he's more important today where we need his music. Yeah. But why aren't our musicians, I mean, of course, apart from you, sir. True. Uh, 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 don't, I know where you're going. Don't they're say not that. doing that. Don't say Let me, uh, let me tell you. Let why me do you listen, think listen, they're not? Let me, listen, if everybody did what Fela did, probably we'll kill ourselves. Probably we'll be, there'll be too much violence. So mm. let's, let's give grace to life in this sense that we all cannot do the same things. Those that want to do it, let them do it. And let's support them. And we'll those that, you know, there's and a song uh, of, let, let me Bendover, tell you Bendover. this song. You know this song. I just called to say I love yeah. you. Yeah. Many of us have used this line, mm -hmm. but if that song wasn't there, I mean, we still have time for sex. We still have time for love. We mm -hmm. still have time to drink, mm -hmm. and it's not as bad as things are. We still party. We still want to watch mm -hmm. football. Yeah, it's true. And we still play. Mm -hmm. So, all right, we need we need some of our artists to do jai jai and all this kind <laughs> of. <things. laughs> Which is the name of the song you exactly. did? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Wiggy baby. Yeah. All right. Femi Kuti, want to say, what, what, what can we say? Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Uh, get the that. album, uh, 5900 Music Plus. It's there. Uh, the entire album is fully loaded. Uh, we just only played uh, two tracks for you. Uh, we, we're going to play one more. Uh, best to live on the good side. Uh, tell us about this one. Best to live on the, it's best to live on the good side. Mm -hmm. Listen to the lyrics, very clear. Mm -hmm. And I think it's probably my most musically put together articulated composition wow i must be solid i like that i like that um any future marriages marriage yeah um yes not to the music i mean to a woman oh, a woman yeah oh uh, i have a i have a i have the love of my life right now okay. she's my last child okay who had the operation and so I'm going to rush to the hospital when I finish my rounds. Wow, okay. So we love each other but uh, we You're understand You're talking about your daughter? Mm. No, I'm talking about her mother. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, oh, are you offended if I was even talking no, about No, no, I'm not offended but I thought you were trying to dodge Dodge the no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't dodgy. He was listening. You are not listening. I was. I you was, are not listening. Oh, listen, was she listening? I no. Was. Did you think I was, I was talking about my daughter? Tasking. No, I didn't. So okay, I do sorry. have somebody that is very um quite serious with. Okay. She understands that's, that's me. Nice. But I'll always say. But is it just her? <laughs> it will never be just anybody. Uh -huh. But I'm not. Wow. I am not. Uh, no. Uh, listen, I don't go out of my way. Uh -huh. You see, I keep. I always keep the door open. That's the bedroom door? No, not the bedroom <laughs> door. My, the door in my mind. I keep it open. She's right now, uh, she understands, right now she's the only one. Right. You could say. Right now. But because but change. I will not say never. Uh -huh. Because that's my life. Okay. I grew up in a very polygamous home. All right. I enjoyed, okay. I wanted to become like my father. I wanted 27 wives too. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't sound reasonable today. Very expensive. But, uh, very expensive. <laughs> but this was, so I'm not going to start saying I'm going to be a faithful person. But I'm not going to go out of my way to go and look for love outside. Okay. I'm quite satisfied. Quite and I have, I have beautiful children. They, take, they give me so much love. So my life is quite stable. Right. But I don't know what will happen in 10 years' time. So, and she has to understand it. Okay. And if we understand each other, I think the love will be stronger, and then we can, I mean, if we go somewhere and somebody makes an eye at me, I can say, did you see the way that girl look at me? I want to be able to talk openly, yeah, mm -hmm. and if I see somebody, I don't want to get angry if, if somebody is, because she dances on my stage, mm -hmm. and she dances very sexily, mm -hmm. should I start saying, get off my set, look, I don't like the way you're shaking your bum, mm -hmm. do you understand? Yeah, I, understand? I have to accept her for who she mm -hmm. is, and of course, men are going to drool. Imagine Jay-Z and Beyonce. If Jay-Z thinks no, people are not drooling over Beyonce, then he's a clown. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? But they are, they are monogamous. They are what? They are in a marriage and they're not but seeing other people. No, Jay-Z yeah, did. He did. Yeah, he, he, did. Still, he, did. he confessed. That? He confessed. Yeah, that was one person. One. Oh, oh, that's what oh. he said. Oh, <laughs> yes. Right. Right. <laughs> 
The confession is a confession. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna end on that note. Thank you, Femi. Check out the album, alright? Music Plus Platform 5900. It is a massive album. A lot of great tracks there. We're playing this one, like Femi said. Probably his best composition for a mighty long time. Best to live on a good side. Enjoy Music Plus 5900, Comedy Plus 2100, and don't forget, of course, Game Plus. MTF Fresh with Audi. This is the legend himself. The best to live on a good side, Femi Kuti.